Because you do sit there and you do daydream. We know the chances are slim and the odds are against us. All right, that's all of them. But sometimes we just can't help but dream. If I won, you know, $500 right now, I would pay most my rent. And then you start to think, well, man, what if I win 50 grand? Yeah, that's changed your whole life. But what happens if you're buying a ticket for a jackpot you can't actually win? So here's the thing, each of these scratch off tickets is supposed to give you a shot at the top prize, right? That's why we're all playing. It can be anywhere from $1,000 to 2 million. But sometimes someone will win the jackpot and the game stays in circulation. So let's just say Ted over here bought a scratch ticket at this store and won the top prize. Well then you come along somewhere else buying a ticket for the same game, hoping to win that top prize, never knowing that he already got it and you never had a chance. As soon as we know, are notified that the last top prize is claimed, we send a message to all of the retailers either that day or the next morning that the last top prize has been claimed and that, that it's no longer available for sale. So does that mean that people could still be buying tickets for a prize that isn't even available anymore? Um, it is possible. We do not do a hard pull on a game so there is the possibility that once a retailer gets the message that they don't pull the game right away and washington lottery tells me it's up to those retailers to pull expired scratch games out of circulation scratch pay but at sunset grocery in spokane i saw firsthand how that doesn't always happen i can scan through them i guess right here it shows me what it is right here so what does it tell you about expired jackpots Print this out and it tells me dates to remember, which is end of activation, end of sales, last day to redeem. Um, and it says all top prizes have been claimed in Scratch Game 1433, $20, 40 million mega multiplier. And that is this one right here. This one? Yep. So did you know until right this minute that that No, I had to go and look through. I didn't even know we get notifications until I went and rifled through it. Washington Lottery launches 40 to 45 scratch games each year, which makes up to 75% of total sales each month. Just this one week in February, more than 1.8 million scratch tickets were sold. People are usually walking around, you know, around, especially around here with like two, three bucks in their pocket. I mean, if you can turn two, three bucks into 10 bucks, you're happy. Do you think that they know and understand that sometimes that big prize could already be claimed? I honestly don't even think it's a thought. Personally, I didn't know about that until you just told me about it. But the information about expired games is out there. You just have to know where to look. Washington Lottery posts updated jackpots online as well as on their mobile app. The information is available in real time for customers to go on their website and see if the top prize is no longer available. But if they're at a store perhaps or a gas station and not looking at the Washington Lottery website, then they wouldn't even be having that information in front of them, correct? That is um, correct. It doesn't really say what's available, right? No. It just says up to $50,000. Mm -hmm. And that could already be gone. Do you think it's fair that there's nothing on here that says, hey, that $50,000 prize may have already been claimed? No, I, I don't know. It, it, it's Like I said, people don't usually think about winning that because mm -hmm. they're so unlikely. But no, I think it sh definitely should. They should definitely be able to know. I feel like customers can be misled into a jackpot that they want to buy into, but they uh, are left out of that jackpot because they didn't even know that the that the jackpot was gone. After I started asking questions, the Washington Lottery Office then sent me a follow-up statement saying once a scratch ticket's top prize is claimed, Washington's Lottery alerts all retailers and players are encouraged to check the website and app for up-to-date information. They go on to say while the top prizes may be claimed, other prizes remain and every ticket has a chance to be a winner. So we just want to be really clear, there is nothing illegal going on here. We just wanted to point this out so that you can have the best chance at winning the grand prize. So I want to take you through the Washington Lottery website. Let's go right now. It's wallottery.com, really easy. And if you come to the top of this tab, you'll see scratch and then this lower tab called Top Prizes Remaining. You're going to want to click on that and it will show you every single game that is active right now. The $1 games, the $2 games. So let's, for example, go to Stacks of Gold. You'll see the top prize right now, $5,000 two of those prizes are left. But if you come over here to Crazy Sevens, the top prize of $1,777, dollars 
there aren't any left. So, you know, if you're taking a look at different games, that may be one that you want to skip over and try for one that still has a top prize remaining. So next time you're out there at the store to look for a scratch ticket, take the extra 20 seconds. It doesn't take very long just to make sure that you have the best chances possible. In the studio tonight, Whitney Ward, Crime 2 News.